Welcome back to Let's Play Dot Hack GU. Had a little bit of a dilemma last night. But we come in now and we have some new mail to look at. Let's see here, we have one from Atali. Hmm. We have two options. We have that one, which is kind of us complaining, and this one, which is looking a little bit more into Adelie. So let's go with that one. Let's see here. We got Syllabus, teaching of some new stuff, which I already knew. It was uh, skill trigger stuff and getting up when you get knocked down, which I mentioned just last time. Oh, and also on uh, customization and elements, so... Eh. Oh, a message from Hokuto, Hokuto, who um, sent us one of the two special mails last time, who just sent us another one, kind of apologizing for sending us the email by accident. And then finally, Kuhn who told us that we could learn a bit more about the Avatar, so he wants to, us to go meet at the at-home. CC Corp. There's a good chance they'd know something normal players wouldn't. No matter how insignificant it might be, as long as I can get some information on Shino and Tri-Edge, I don't care. Kuhn's waiting for me in the mercenary district. I'd better hurry. Now, the at-home is how guilds work. So... We'll be introduced to how guilds function here, then. So let's log on into the world and go meet up with him. Now, a lot of people actually seem to think when I, uh... supposed to meet Kuhn in the mercenary district. Yes, yes. A lot of people seem to actually think when I was talking about, uh, stands last time that that was kind of an actual thing and no it's a jojo's bizarre adventure reference people go go read and go read a good manga or watch our two let's plays on it now at homes are how guilds work the at home is simply i guess you could call it the entrance or not really the entrance but let's call it the entrance Hey there, Haseo. Ah. What? What's with the scary face? Are you mad at me or something? Nothing. Just hurry up and take me to this raven place. Um, you don't like me, do you? Get real. Okay, so, let me explain it to you. The at-home is a specialized room that each guild has in the game. And guilds are comprised of individual players that form their own group. To put it simply, a guild is like a baseball team, and at home is like the team dugout, where everybody hangs out while playing the game. Now, Haseo, um, during Dot Hack Roots, he actually had a lot of uh, trouble caused due to various guilds. So, he knows his way around guilds, believe me. And he's in no big hurry to get involved in them again. That said, um, even from the very beginning here, when he first walked up to Kuhn, he showed a lot more animosity here, and he will in these coming cutscenes, than I actually think seems in character. And to be honest, I could think of a couple kind of explanations, but I can't really think of a good reason why he's acting this way. It just seems a little off to me. Ah. But it doesn't matter to a solo player like me. Let's go. Hold it. Actually, it does matter to you. Listen, buddy. To get into at-home, 
You need a pass called a guild key for that guild. Uh, let's see here. Guest keys. All, all it is is you have to be able to get into the guild in the first place and you either have to be invited or whatever. Uh, he's explaining it. Why am I bothering? So, here you go. Take it. And with that, we can enter Raven now. And we may learn a little bit more about, uh... Let me just learn a little bit more about avatars and try it. Alrighty, let me officially welcome you to our guild, Raven. Haseo, make yourself comfortable. Uh, you're the old hag from the other day! <sighs> Huh? You two know each other? Of course not. <laughs> this is Pi. She's a member of Raven like me. And Pi, this is... I get it now. So that thing the other day was all just to invite me here. Well, get this, Granny. You can try to seduce me, but old hags don't interest me. I get the creeps just picturing you in real life. What? Get this guy out of here right now, Coon. I don't care if he is a chosen one. We can't leave our task to someone like this. Unfortunately, Pi, I'm afraid that decision is up to Yata. Yata? There's no need to involve Master Yata. What's a Yata? A person? You be quiet. Coon, I'm sure that you can understand. Yes, he's here. What? Alone? Are you sure? But sir, he's... I understand. Come with me. Master Yada will see you now. This is a pretty, um, storyline-heavy section of the game, so... Be prepared for some cutscenes. This update especially. What is this place? It's pretty bleak, that's for sure. <gasps> Welcome to the Serpent of Lore. Sale. It took you quite a long time to get here. I've been waiting for you. Are you the Yata that Kuhn and the Hag were talking about? Nice setup. So, is this an administration only area? I've heard of them, but I didn't know they actually existed. You sure it's all right to let a regular player like me in here? Won't your boss get mad at you, Mr. Admin? Nice to meet you, though it feels very strange to be saying that to you. I have been watching you for quite some time. Huh? There has been a development in the world that defies the system parameters. One of the effects, or perhaps I should say targets of that development, is that there are a variety of phenomena manifesting in the world. You yourself have experienced one of these developments, the forced reformatting of your character data. You have been spying on my... on Haseo's past. Who in the hell gave you the right to... You are the one who called me an admin, right? To administer means to observe, to protect, and to manage. Both Triage and the phenomena that happened to you are under my administration. We have only upheld the obligations of our job. 
A bug that is not a bug. Ideally, that kind of phenomena would never exist in the world. But, as you can see, it indeed does exist. Our overall designation for this phenomena is Ida. Ida? Huh? For now, none of the general users of the game know anything about it. That is somewhat to be expected at its current level. However, you have already encountered it, and you have seen firsthand the sort of threat and danger it possesses. You have seen it and experienced it yourself. Try it. The name of the skill he had used on you is called Data Drain by us. Data Drain? Whatever it is, I've never heard of a skill that can actually lower your lep. You already understand what I am referring to. That triage is a phenomena that defies system parameters. You mean triage is Ida? Perhaps. We cannot deny the possibility. Don't give me that! How the hell could an admin not know a single reason for a bug's existence? Investigating a bug that's not a bug is difficult. Likewise, we are also investigating what happened to the character known as Shino, as well as her player. Uh, what? So, you guys knew all along that the real-life Shino is in a coma? We would like to try and understand what the connection is between an online PK and a player becoming comatose before this little problem of ours has time to become public knowledge. Talking about before it becomes public knowledge. Are you just trying to cover it up for yourselves? It's all your fault that she know that she's gone. I'm afraid that is not true. It is not our fault that she became comatose after the incident. The one that injured her, as well as the one that leveled you down, is Triage. Isn't that correct? You guys are responsible for letting it happen! Then, are you saying that we should have shut down the game entirely? I do not believe so. After all, the key that is needed to solve the riddle of Ida, Triage, and the comatose players is right here in this game, the world. We share a common interest. Are you telling me to cooperate with you? I don't get it. How is my cooperation gonna help you guys out? It's simple. The only thing we want from you, Haseo, is the power that is hidden inside of your character. Your character was especially created by CC Corporation for their past project. Power? Project? You mean, my character is somehow special? That's correct. You are a chosen one. Uh -huh. Characters like yours are known as epitaph users. Kuhn and Pi are epitaph users as well. That hag. At this point, the only ones capable of combating Ida's are you epitaph users. So this character's one of them, huh? This better not be some really elaborate new event or something. In other words, you're telling me that you guys need me to help you with debugging the game, right? As I made clear to you earlier, we want nothing more than to contain these unruly phenomena. And the only things that can do that are, in fact, the avatars. And avatars are an epitaph user's power, right? Yes. But I don't know how to use anything like that. That is because your avatar has not awakened yet. So then basically, I just have to learn to use that puppet thing. If I can learn to use that, then I can go up against Triage. Shino. If I help you guys out, I'll be able to use those avatar things, right? Of course. It would be rather troublesome for us if you could not. Sure thing. 
I'll help you out, but I won't take any orders from anyone. Understand? That is my only condition. Wait! It's dangerous for a player like him to gain that kind of power. Master! He's telling you to be quiet, you old hag. Why are you using a player like him? His avatar would have eventually awakened, with or without our help. You must already know that. As you can see and feel, his epitaph has already started to awaken within him. I heard you've joined GU. Glad to have you with us. GU? Oh, didn't Yata explain it to you? The guild name that we use, Raven, is just a front. What our group is really called is GU. What's that? I heard it was a project name for CC Corp or something. Whatever. I don't care. I just need you to hurry up and tell me how to summon my avatar. How to summon the Avatar, huh? Come on already. I'm in a hurry here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, correct me if I'm wrong here, but... Are you thinking that there's some specific spell to summon an Avatar? There's not? Nope. But if there were, we would have it a whole lot easier. Okay then. How do you summon yours? Hmm. Well, I think it would probably be better just to show you while we're out adventuring. Wouldn't you agree? Then let's go. It doesn't matter what area it is, right? Well, yeah, I suppose that's true. But, unfortunately, I've got an appointment to keep. I'll be sure to contact you later. Hey, wait! Damn it. What the hell? <sighs> oh, well. I guess I'll just head on back to town then. Well, we don't have much left to do here, so we can head back to town, I suppose. Can take a brief look around the guild here, and you will see a Grunty. The Grunties look a good bit different from they did in uh, what they looked like in the original quadrilogy, and. Their purpose is even very different. The Grunties, they kind of manage guilds. And a Grunty is modeled after the guild master. So this one then is obviously modeled after Yada. Well, not necessarily the personality, but you get the idea. Now, that said, um, kind of as I hinted to near the end of the previous video, in the previous episode, I should say, there are a lot of characters in GU that are actually characters from the previous, or that we have met before, be it in the previous quadrilogy or the various animes. I'll be revealing these as we go. Not necessarily as we get to them, but as I feel it's um, necessary to reveal them. Rest assured, we've met a couple already. Well, not much else to do but wander around town, so let's see what's going around in the central hub here. fun running into me? Freaking Gaspard. <laughs> what? Please! Help me! First, get off of me! Move! Now 
what do I do? I mean, I was supposed to open up the shop together with Syllabus. But when we finally went to open the shop up, there wasn't close to being enough inventory in our storage. What are we gonna do? There's no time left. What should we do? Our customers will be here any minute now. Are they rare items? No. I need to restock on, let me think, 10 black beans and 10 almond jelly. And Asian mangoes and ten caramel sauces. Yeah, I think that's what we're missing right now. Aren't those sold in other shops? Just buy some and sell them yourselves. Oh, you're right. Then, then, then. Maseo, come on. Help me buy all the supplies that we need. Huh? Why do I have to help you? Here's the money, Haseo. I agreed to nothing. I said I'm not doing this. Oh, come on, Haseo. You go buy and deliver the Asian mangoes and the caramel sauces to Syllabus when he gets here in the Central District, okay? Great, thank you so much for your help. Are you kidding? How did I get involved in all of this? Ah, the hell with it. I guess I'll help them out. Just this one time. Let's see. I need 10 Asian mangoes and 10 caramel sauces. And then give them to Syllabus in the Central District Town Square when he gets here. I will kill you, Gaspard. Well, we need two items specifically, and we can get them by buying them from a regular shop, selling them at our own price, which would mean selling them for a cheaper price and us losing money, but when you need to do it, you need to do it, so we'll lose a little bit of money because we weren't prepared, or they weren't prepared like I had anything to do with this. You can go to the kiosk in here to get some caramel sauces. Now we were given the money, so we can go ahead and buy the 10 of those, and we will be... We won't actually lose any money! Go us! Now the other one we're heading to is the Mercenary District, into a shop that I haven't actually been in yet. Asian Mango, Asian Mango. Asian Mango, Asian Mango, there we are, Asian Mango. Alright then. Do this, get the crap to Syllabus, and move on with our lives. Freaking Gaspard. Syllabus, Syllabus. There we are. Hey, Syllabus, what's up? Got him. Thanks a lot for helping us out, Haseo. Once Gaspard gets here, we'll be all set. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, I guess you've never done it before. Done what? Well, manage a shop. Want me to explain how it works? Not really. Come on, Haseo. I think it would be good for you to learn what normal players do. I said not really. Well, anyway. Gaspard sure is taking his time shopping for all of this. I wonder what's up with him. Hmm? What? It's a short mail from Gaspard. Apparently he got lost. Freaking Gaspard. Man. Could that guy get any dumber? How did he get lost in town? I gotta go find him. Let me tell you, I'm not moving an inch. Great. See you when I get back. What? Huh? 
Will you do me a favor? Watch over the shop while I'm out there looking for Gaspard. I don't wanna. Don't be ridiculous. Just go ahead and close it down while you're gone. I can't do that. Our best customers will be here soon. So what? Just leave me out of this. You don't have anything to do, right? Or are you just afraid of dealing with the customers? What? Like hell I am. You're a shrewd man, You'll so You'll be fine. Is. Manners are very important even online. Remember to greet them properly. What am I, a preschooler? See ya. I'm off to look for Gaspard. 